Hello and welcome to Southern Italy for the 11th edition of the Rotax Max Challenge World Finals at the purpose-built La Conca Circuit at Muro de Chez. More than 250 of the best kart racers from around the planet will be in action, and we were there to bring you all the action, as well as meet some of these passionate motor racing competitors. So, sit back and enjoy what is referred to in motorsports as the Olympic Games of Karting. Robert Guppenberger is by far the busiest man at the Rotax Max Challenge Finals. He has to make sure the event runs smoothly while also taking time out from his hectic schedule to meet with the competitors who have come from all five continents to take part in this very special karting event. We consider being this, this event being uh, the Olympic Games of karting because it's, you have to qualify. You cannot come here and, and pay the entry. You have to qualify for that. And so it's, it's basically the Olympic idea of, of motorsport. Big countries, of course, are represented with more drivers here, but we want to keep the Olympic spirit and invite also people from very small countries like Cyprus or Malta. That's why we have 60 countries here from all over the world. And what a sight it is to see. So many competitors from near and far representing traditional motor racing powers to those countries where their sport is still in its infancy. However, they all share the need to compete. But what is good for one class may be too much for another, and Rotax makes sure that everyone runs with the equipment best suited for their needs. From the tires to the performance of the engines, everything in its proper time and place. You give the, the proper equipment to each age group. You cannot let a, a kid run with the same fast equipment as an adult. So the equipment and the performance of the product follows the age. So a, a cadet runs with Less, less performance, uh, harder tires, so it's, it's safety also involved. And as they grow up, the tires get softer and the engine gets more performance. Some race for the thrills and memories it provides, while many others have much larger aspirations and want to climb the long motor racing ladder and with a lot of luck make it to the pinnacle of the sport. That there is drivers that easily, after winning or being second here, easily make their, make their way to a Formula Renault and are very competitive and we have cases where they really won the Formula 3 series or a Formula Renault series. So they, they have the skills to, to go up to even Formula 1. Motor racing has always been and will continue to be a very expensive proposition. But Rotax believes they have come up with an easy solution to make the sport more affordable, which in turn has made the series the place to be for everyone to get their start. Supplying engines which are sealed which I let them run all on the same tires, the same fuel. It, it brought the cost down a lot. That's why we have become the biggest race series in the world. The fairer sex has always been an important element in motor racing. Administrative roles, supporters, mothers, daughters, sisters, mechanics, and of course, racers. Ladies are paving their own path in motor racing, and karting is no exception. Japan, the U.S., Malaysia, Colombia, Russia, and Austria were all represented. We caught up with Austria's Sandra Simmenberger, who is competing here in the highly competitive DD2 category, to get her impressions about taking on and trying to beat the lads at what has been their game since the advent of motor racing. I hope so that we are faster than, but here all of the world, the best guys ever, and it's hard to come in the front. Sandra battled as best she could in the qualifying heats, however, she suffered a few setbacks in her attempt to make it to the DD2 finals. Uh, 
I hope so. But yesterday I have a crash, and yeah, in the qualifying I was not so fast. It's my first year in DD2, last year I drive junior. And yeah, I hope that I come in the second chance in the first row, and so we can go to the final. Sadly, Sandra didn't quite reach her goal of competing for the world title in Italy, but her presence, determination, and positive attitude was refreshing, and there's no doubt she will be back to give it her very best.